novelette is basically a short novella, in other words, a short story. And this novelette, which I'm going to play, which is number two in D major, structure-wise is basically one of the more simple ones. It has an A, B, A structure. A and B are very contrasted. Uh, the former is passionate and extrovert and witty. And the contrasting section is lyrical and dreamy. I mean, I think in olden days people would have talked about the male and the female, but one really cannot say that anymore. It sounds too simplistic. But I could well imagine that one side of Schumann was talking to the other side. Or maybe he was talking to his beloved Clara. Here she is. And here is Robert. Two very, very different personalities. Actually, Schumann uh, invented two alter egos called Floristan and Eusebius. Floristan, who is the extrovert, Eusebius, who is the introvert. And quite often at the end of his pieces, he put a capital F or a capital E sometimes both, to denote which characters had been in the piece. I think here it's fairly obvious. The challenge for the pianist is to move from the extrovert to the introvert swiftly and without any bumps. <laughs> and this involves uh, developing very different attacks, touches, sounds, uh, to contrast the two sound worlds completely. Uh, and this is quite a challenge, not least on a modern piano, which is rather different from the piano that Schumann would have used, uh, a thicker and more orchestral sound. But that's a wonderful challenge in itself. So here is an example of what is needed when we have to go from one section to the other. Let's say in this instance from Clara to Robert. Schumann composed eight novelettes when he was in his late twenties. He originally actually wanted them to be played as a set, but in truth, for the modern performer, it is a not really a valid idea. To me, uh, it proves that Schumann was trying to do something a little against the grain, something a little perverse, which uh, he did sometimes. And he was trying to force one to think through uh, a whole lot of different and varied material and find a connection in it. And this happens actually very often in his music. There's a sort of defiance of saying, all this material is different, it's all fascinating, it's up to you to make something unified uh, and beautiful out of it. And this is one of the great challenges of Schumann. He had other perversions actually. When he was a young man, he injured his hand by inventing a contraption to try and make his two outside fingers more independent, which of course is physically impossible. He injured himself, but the composition he was then led to doing for years after concentrated perversely on the upper part of the hand. And Schumann's piano music is actually very challenging in this way. So there was a sort of defiance about him. Don't go away because in the next episode I'll be playing you the whole piece. <laughs>